I just want them to be good citizens and grow up to be good fathers, which mm -hmm. they are, mm -hmm. all are. Mm -hmm. So you've written this book to him as a, as a salute, as a, and as a playing homage to him. It's called Never Can Say Goodbye. Why did you want to do this? Well, I wanted to do it for his fans mm -hmm. and for the people that misunderstood him. Mm -hmm. And I just told little stories about him. Mm -hmm. And, um, do you I, think he was misunderstood? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I went through this book, there, this book is composed of so many personal family portraits that a lot of us haven't mm -hmm. seen. But this one stuck out to me because this is how I remember, remember him. Remember <laughs> him. Um, how do you most remember him when you think of your son, Michael Jackson? Is that the portrait that you see in your mind? I think of my son all through the day. Mm -hmm. all and I don't like to talk about him because I, I get all choked up. Mm -hmm. I... It's funny. Mm -hmm. From a baby in my arms, naming him with my mother. My mother named him mm -hmm. until he got grown. And that comes to my mind every day. Yeah. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. I asked that question, not ever having children of my own, as you know, wondering whether or not a mother holds in her heart a certain vision of her child. She do. Yeah, you do. She do. Yeah. And is that that little boy's face, that's who you hold? That, yes. Yeah, that's the picture that you hold. Yes. That's your And son. sometimes during the day I can hear his laughter in my mind, mm -hmm. the way he... Used to, and he always teased, and he would always laugh and have fun with his brothers, mm -hmm. you know, when they were rehearsing or mm -hmm. getting ready to leave town or mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. Always playing jokes. Mm -hmm. He was a, a prankster. Oh.